got to be careful here not to get a crotch shot. I got my longer hoka shorts on here, so it's okay. Um, here in Chamonix, uh, it's great to be back. Love this town. Love these mountains around here, surrounding areas. Just spectacular and beautiful. And uh, obviously, you saw with the I took my drone up there and uh, GoPro Hero Three and filmed and, and edited that. Edited edited that yesterday morning, but. Uh, yeah, just still overcoming a little jet lag from the trip. It wasn't too bad. Uh, no flight delays. Had a nice, nice United flight, I will say. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, tapering down for this weekend's race. Uh, there's a whole series of races here in the Mount Blanc Marathon uh, series. Uh, the 80K is going on right now, I believe. I met some cool people running that. I know some people running in that. Uh, as well as uh, the marathon, the 42K, which I'm doing on Sunday, today's Friday. Um, so tapering down for that, uh, not really running very much. Been trying to rest up after Mount Washington last weekend, legs were pretty tired. Was climbing decently there, wanted to crack an hour, didn't crack an hour, wanted to be closer to Joe, uh, gone back and forth to Joe over the years. Um, he's really tough to beat right now, so uh, he was way ahead of me at Mount Washington. Got second place. Always like to. It's always a huge honor to be on the podium, uh, especially Eric Blake was third. Uh, great racer there. Also, it was a little humid, so I think we all were, ran a little bit slower. While well, everyone is affected by the humidity, uh, Mount Washington, but no wind. Nice sunny day on top of Mount Washington, uh, which is unusual. But uh, love to go back there again and try to crack an hour. It's really frustrating that my first time at Mount Washington, I ran 58:27. Uh, it was U.S. Mountain Running Championships that year and I haven't been able to replicate that, but at the same time, I haven't really focused on half marathon and below 10K type of intensity for a long time like I was uh, back then, as well as just doing half marathon road races and marathon road races more and more. Uh, but I want to do that in the future. Right now it's mountain season, it's ultra season. Gearing up for Mount Blanc, but the main thing, uh, another reason I'm out here is to, after the race on Sunday, hopefully I could try to recover fast. It's a net uphill race. 2730 feet meters of climbing so that's over 8,000 close to 9,000 feet of elevation gain supposedly for this 42k it is not a flat race uh, but net uphill something I like more climbing than descending I don't like those net downhill courses western states um, but uh, yeah it's gonna be full mountain mode after this and I really need to ramp up the volume and the climbing to get ready for UTMB because it's coming up quick and if you look at my Strava it looks pathetic right now uh, I am really had to taper a bit for this. I wanted to have fresh legs, longevity, recover from like Sonoma as well, but after this it's all about really ramping things up. Full on mountain season, big volume, big vertical, big time spent training in the mountains for UTMB and you know Speed Goat will be part of that build up in late July, but uh, the time to train hard is now and I think hopefully the, that's my long term plan and hopefully it's kind of a, an advantage that I'm not doing races like Western States this weekend and beating myself up terribly with a net downhill 100 miler in the heat, uh, which is really, really tough, I will say. Uh, and I do want to go back to Western States, but to do these mountain races on these types of mountain trails in Chamonix, around Chamonix, uh, as well as going over to, to Italy and Switzerland after the race to train, also get you guys some drone shots, hopefully, some more drone shots. Uh, and and really experience uh, the course, get the legs used to that. But if you look on Strava, gotta get the mileage up after this big time. Uh, been really low. Some of the the runs got trapped on my Sunto. I had to do an uh, Ambit update, and so the mileage totals on Strava aren't exactly what I've run. There might be a, a 10 or 20 mile per week discrepancy on a couple of those weeks in the last month, as well as some discrepancy on the vertical, uh, like. After Cranmore, uh, Sandy did the U.S. Mountain Ring Champs. She, she did the Prezi Traverse the day after, and I did part of that with her, and I'm not sure if that got recorded on Strava either. Uh, I only did like 16 miles of the Presidential Traverse, but that was a decent day and a, a lot of vertical two weeks before Mount Washington. So just kind of an update of where I'm at now. Looking into this race, uh, you know, I, my Hoka teammate Hayden Hawks has been out here. I think he's, he's not going to race on Sunday, but... Uh, he's been training out here. Another buddy from Boulder, Colorado, Andy Wacker's out here. He is doing the race. He's very fast. Uh, he's run like a 104 half marathon, 28. I think he ran sub 29 for 10K. Definitely like 1340 type of 5K runner. 
He's been tough. Uh, he's run some mountain races, been on the U.S. team, a lot of U.S. teams uh, this year. Uh, won or was second at, at the, I think it was the Zermatt Marathon a couple years ago, as well as podium at, at Pikes Peak. Or Yeah, he's been on the podium at Pikes Peak Ascent. He'll be tough. I flew in with Max King, Max King running for Solomon now. Uh, obviously a tough all-around guy. He beat me at, at Chuckanut earlier this March. He's kind of an any surface, any distance type of guy. Really a guy I've looked up to because he's been in Mount Ultra Trail running for like 8 to 10 years now. And he's a super fast guy. I mean, he's 8.30s, 3K steeple, sub 14 minute 5K, 2.14 marathoner, multiple time Olympic trials, world mountain running champion, Max King, total badass. I'm a little biased though because he went to the same college that I went to and he's also from Oregon. But a uh, great guy to hang out with. Um, He'll be in the race. The international guys uh, from Europe, uh, other guys on Max's team, from Solomon, guys like Remy Bonnet, or Bonet, I mispronounced the name, sorry. Uh, Remy, uh, I heard is really good. Um, there's a couple other guys on that team that are really good, obviously. Uh, Mark Laustein, I believe, who is a great mountain runner in Europe, I've raced him before, uh, is going to really bring it, as well as probably all these guys I'm not mentioning, I don't even know. Oh. A guy named Killian, I heard, might be in the race as well. Killian Jornet. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that'll be a really competitive race. But you know what? That's why I do these races. I want to travel. I want to race against the best in the world on mountain courses and courses that I'm passionate about. And that's this race on Sunday. Hopefully, fits the bill from what I've seen, and I can't wait to experience it. But uh, after that, we're ramping up, extending the mountain endurance, uh, trying to get ready for. The, the UTMB later this summer. So that's my status of where I'm at now. Again, sorry for all the mispronunciation of names there. Uh, I'm a little jet lagged, a little out of it. Uh, I need some more coffee maybe. I'll go out for a run, that's what I'll do. Uh, but hope your training's going well. Thanks so much for following along on this journey. Really appreciate all the support, all the Patreon supporters. Couldn't do this without you. Uh, just, it's been really cool to meet some people in person uh, this weekend as well as last weekend at Mount Washington. And anytime, I really do appreciate all the positive comments, positive energy, uh, thumbs up, and, and sharing on social media as well as following me on social media. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, couldn't do this without you at all, as well as uh, sponsors and uh, just all the support. It's been really, really uh, great for me and uh, something that's a, a dream come true, as cliche as that sounds, but uh, it really is. And I, I pinch myself and I think I'm going to wake up from this dream because uh, every day I don't take any single day uh, for granted. It's a real luxurious lifestyle be able to, to pursue your dreams and to be able to train at this level and something I'm really thankful for but it wouldn't be possible without the support from you guys so thank you and stay tuned for more Sage Running videos. Mm -hmm.